Agora TV. The world is thinking. The Guardian had a great line last week describing the Wall Street protests. The author of it said, these young people who are down here, many of whom were talking about how they will not be able to pay off their loans until they're in their 40s. What a wonderful thing to actually to do to 22 year olds. Send them out into the world with crushing debt. Have the boot on their neck right away. I was out in, in Berkeley last week signing books and the guy said to me, I went, he was my age, he said, I went here uh, back in the late 60s and 70s $75 a semester. I heard the same thing from people that went to the SUNY system. It was practically free. These kids now are in debt till their 40s. I told those students, I said, listen to this man because there's a reason why. It's not just that we want your money and the interest you'll pay us on that. It's not just that. It's not that it's just the banks want that. It's because by having that boot on your neck at 22, we control you. We own you. See, when we were 22, we could kind of do whatever we wanted because we knew we could get a job. There were jobs, right? We knew we'd be okay. But they don't know that because there's no guarantee of a job or a good-paying job. And they know if they do get that job, they better shut up. They better not talk union. They better not ask questions. They better look the other way when this woman is being treated this way by the boss. Don't get involved. Don't say anything because you need that job because you got that loan to pay off. Very smart of their parents' generation to have suckered them into this, to this place where they have to be silent. They better not go to too many demonstrations. They better do good in school because God knows they could be in the gutter at 23. I think they've overplayed their hand. I think these, what the Guardian said was is that they're out there protesting because Wall Street, Wall Street has stolen their future and all they're asking for is their future back. And we're their parents or their grandparents. And I know all those of us who grew up in the 60s and 70s, this is not the world we wanted to leave them. This is the world we cannot leave them. That cannot be allowed. We have to fix this. We have to change this.